Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Today, a quick Saturday morning session on uh, how to handle basic authentication in Selenium. You must have seen when you, let's see on this particular website, you click on this basic authentication link. And when you land on the next page, it's saying you have to enter the username password. It means that basic authentication is applied over here. You have to enter your username password, like for example, admin admin, click on sign in, then only it will allow you to enter that. The problem is that we cannot inspect these elements. See, right click on it, there is no inspect. These are not part of your HTML DOM. So there is no XPath or ID or locator for that because they are coming in the form of an authentication pop-up coming from the browser like that. So we cannot inspect that. So how to handle this? So earlier we used to handle by passing the Selenium, by passing the uh, username password along with the URL, but it won't work on Edge browser. It will work only for Chrome and that is not also sure that sometime if it is a block from the server side, it won't work over there. So in that case, uh, we can use Selenium for uh, Chrome DevTools API and then we can handle that. So what exactly I have done that I have created this particular project where this is my public XML file and we have to add this uh, Selenium 4. I'm using Alpha 7. That is the latest version. If you really want to check it on Google, you can simply go to Selenium uh, Maven project and uh, go to this first site. You can see Selenium with Java. And I'm using <clears throat> for alpha 7 version, I'm using it, okay? So just copy this particular dependency and then let me just close this. I'm going to create one class over here. So let's create a quick class. And let's see, this is my class name is basic auth handle. Okay, you select the main method and click on finish. And then let me just increase the font size and then I'm going to launch the application, launch the driver and all those things. So I'm using a web driver manager. So I simply write driver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup. And then I'm using my, let's see, Google Chrome, which is equal to new Chrome uh, driver over here. Import both the things. Now, what exactly we have to do, I'll just for this particular application, I'm going to maintain uh, let's see two private strings over here for username and the password password is also equal to admin because if you go to this application username password is admin admin so you have to write admin and admin click on sign in then only it will say that okay yeah <clears throat> congratulations you must have the proper credentials but how will you do through stadium so what i'm going to do that i'm not going to pass my username password along with the url this time i'm going to use my chrome dev tools apis so after that i have to create i have to get a chrome dev tools object over here so how to do that so in this case guys i simply write first of all whatever the driver is available i'll typecast my driver into a chrome driver so let's see i just typecasting into chrome driver you wrap in a bracket over here like that and then there is a method you will get that is called get dev uh, tools method you will be getting it and then this get tools method it will give you one dev tools class object so i'm going to store inside my let's see dev uh, uh, tools create an object of this and then refer it so simple import this particular dev tools this is a new feature added in in selenium 4 you will not get this feature in selenium 3. so let's see this is a dev tools that i have added and then i have to start my dev tool session so simple write dot uh, create the session that you have to start that and after that, you have to send one network. Uh, you have to enable your network. So I simply write that is a network dot enable method is there. And it's saying, <clears throat> give me the buffer size, resource buffer size, and other information. So I don't want to pass these three information. If you don't want to pass, you can simply write optional dot empty. We just pass it. So let me just copy paste the same thing over here like that. Okay, so I just want to net enable my network and then after that I have to set my authentication header. So I simply write my uh, let's see send authentication header. So how will you do that? For that, let's see I'm going to create one um, one hash map we can create. So I simply write a map which is the key will be a string type and the value will be object type. And let's see these are my headers which is equal to new a hash map that I'm going to create and import your map from the java.util package. After that, what we have to do, we have to create one 
a basic authentication token. So I simple write, let's see, this is my basic uh, auth, which is equal to now this application, it is a basic authentication. So the prefix will be like that, a basic with a space plus because in the background, when you call the URL, it will pass the basic authentication like that. And then I'm, I'll be writing a new string over here like this. And then we have to pass a new base 64 encoded string we have to use. So I simply write new base uh, 64 uh, dot. And then I'll be using, first of all, that we have to import this uh, new base 64. So let me just import that. So guys, you have to import, there are multiple base 64 and encoders are available. So you have to import from org dot uh from here or dot apache dot you have to use that so let me use this this one okay let me just cross check yeah this one or dot apache commons dot codec binary dot base 64 import you have to do that and after that there is a method dot the method name is the encode and then encode what encode your username password so what i'm going to do that i have to use my username password over here so how will you use that i simply say that uh, string dot in the formatted format and then I simply say that uh, in double quotes percentage s this is for username and again uh, percentage s for the password and what are your arguments my argument is username comma password over here so if you see this particular string it will look like this let me put a semicolon after that okay and uh, it's saying that okay, let me just check new string base 64 dot encode and string dot format which is good and uh, put a comma which is also fine username password and then after that username password we have to convert into get bytes looks good now yeah that's fine so this is the thing guys that you have to uh, write. I have created one basic authentication with my uh, basic prefix and base64 encoded uh, username password I'm using from these two variables. So after that, what we have to do, whatever the map that we have created, I'm going to use this particular put method to add the map. And uh, the key will be for the basic authentication, the key will be guys authorization. So remember this thing, authorization. This will be the key and what exactly the value the value is the basic auth a string that you have created like that okay this is just like we do it in api calls so this this is the header that got created and after that whatever the dev tools that you have created i'm using that particular dev tools uh, dot there is a method you have to use send it means you have to send a network command with the help of uh, chrome dev tools protocol apis so I simply use that as a network a dot and there is a method guys that is called set extract HTTP header so you have to pass and what do you mean what is the header so I'll be passing new uh, headers class and whatever the headers object that we have created this hash map we have to pass it over here and this uh, headers class that we have to import from uh, see selenium dev tools 87 api we can use that so use version it whatever the latest version is showing use that one okay and uh, this method is saying that set uh method name is sub extract http headers which is good chrome dev tools network dot mm, bracket is that everything is fine okay one second let me check what it could be the error so network we have already used that is from 87 we have to use it actually okay now the error is gone because uh, header we are importing from 87 and network we were importing from 84 so better both should be matched so do not do this mistake actually so this is done after that what we have to do that's it we just need to launch the driver dot get method and launch the url so whatever the url that we are using this url when, he'll, when we launch through Selenium, it should not give you any authentication pop-up. Okay, so let's see it is working or not. So run as a Java application and let's see. Okay, 
So browser is getting launched and see it's not giving you any authentication pop up now. So this is a better way guys tomorrow. If you have uh, any username with with at the rate or something, you can use that earlier. What exactly we were doing earlier? We were not using all these things. So earlier I'll show you what exactly we used to do that earlier after HTTPS after this two bracket after double slash we have to use admin colon admin at the rate we used to pass this also will work fine but not for all the application and not for edge browser as well see this time also this is working fine so you don't need to use chrome dev tools api but the problem is that if your username if your username is having one at the rate then it will not work so that's why this is a limitation for this so we don't prefer this way better we write like this only okay so i'll show you once again let me run it and then run as java application awesome right so whenever you see any kind of authentication pop up it should work but remember selenium guys they have created this uh, dev tools only for chrome driver and the edge driver it is not available for firefox driver so you cannot use it for firefox driver this is a limitation with this particular tool okay so but it will work definitely for uh, if you write let's see instead of uh, chrome driver if you try to write firefox driver if you try to write firefox uh, driver it will give you error it's saying that uh, get dev tools is undefined for firefox driver same thing if you try it for edge driver for edge driver it is Define without any problem. So on the edge browser also it will work fine. If you try with the uh, Safari With Safari driver also it is not available It's only applicable for Chrome dev tools. Maybe in future they will provide for Firefox and Safari as well But right now you can work with, with only Chrome driver and and uh, And Azure driver you can use it without any problem. Okay, so that's all for this particular video guys I hope better to use this particular solution with the selenium for a Chrome driver uh, Chrome dev tools API that is a better option instead of passing the username password and exposing the username password over here like that Thank you so much guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have any issues and take care